Blame Truth here, and I want to open up this video with a dream I had last night. I guess in my case, it was a nightmare. You see, it's maybe the year 2006 or whatever. I've called Dish Network for some satellite television. I had them come, and, I, and they're installing it and whatnot. And uh, the guy goes outside to put the satellite dish on top of my house, and I, I wait inside patiently. Well, hours pass, and I still don't have TV. He hasn't come inside to tell me it's all hooked up. So I go outside, and I look on the roof, and instead of a regular satellite dish, it's that fucking satellite dish from SCUD, and I see a sniper glint on it, and the motherfucker shoots me in the dome! I woke up in a cold sweat this morning. I, I, I don't know, man. A anyway, let's talk about the beta. Oh, the beta! Let's talk about the beta. I've been trying. I, I have really been trying. Please, at least give me points for trying to like this beta. But right away, I, I just want to say that I, I, I did dial in my settings so the game feels better. I was complaining about the clunky Omni movement at the start, and a lot of people were as well. Like, I'll just show you this right now. You have to do this if you're on controller. There, there's pretty much no debating it. You have to set the sprint assist delay to on here. Mine's off in the screenshot, but you have to put it on on and then set the delay to zero. But I had to set it to one because um, zero was glitched or bugged or whatever. But default's 400. But here's the thing. Like, if you do this, then you are just auto sprinting all the time, which means you auto sprint in every direction, essentially, because the Omni movement. But then you still have tax sprint. But tax sprint just kind of feels like regular sprint, and regular sprint doesn't even feel like sprint anymore because of the animations and the speed of it. It just feels like you're kind of walking fast. It feels like you have lightweight on in Modern Warfare 2, the 2009 OG one. It just feels like you're walking around quicker, like, you know, instead of just slowly walking. But the problem is, and the biggest issue I have with it, is that doing this activates the sprint out times. Okay, so, so like, if you're sprinting all the time in every single direction, then you have to contend with sprint out times, like sprint to fire times or whatever. It, it, it makes everything feel delayed and, like, clunky, and then when you do dive or slide, which you can do in any direction, it feels a little jarring as well because uh, you just kind of do it, you know? There's no, like, real build-up to it. It doesn't feel like you have the momentum to do it, but you just do it. So it, you're basically fucking river dancing across the goddamn battlefield. R regardless, that's the best advice I can give you if you're still having issues on controller. I'm not sure how this controls on mouse and keyboard. But anyway, let's talk about this map. This is a map they added in, I think, yesterday. Uh, God, rewind. I so goddamn bad. Speaking of bad... These spawns, I mean, look at this. Uh, psych, this isn't the gameplay I'm going to post. I went on a little streak there, and then I just respawn with a guy literally aiming at my asshole. So I just rage quit. That rewind map is terrible anyway. And oh, you're going to love this. Check this out. Packet burst. It's back. I, I swear it's just going to get worse. It's just going to get worse and worse each subsequent season that comes out on this game. But let, let's talk about the maps, okay? Let's talk about the maps. The maps on this game, guys, I'm not trying to troll. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm not trying to be a hater. This is the only good map. I, I wouldn't call it good. It feels like... I don't even know, man. It feels like Hacienda from Black Ops 4, but like worse and with doors. It just doesn't feel good. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what you want from me. W what the fuck do you want from me, man? The three maps that aren't this one, Skyline here, are just horrendous. The derelict map, not very good. It's not horrible, horrible, but the spawns on it are terrible. This is like the only map where I feel like I don't spawn into death immediately. I, the other three, it's a crapshoot. Scud, especially. Like, what in the fuck were they thinking with that map, dude? Scud! Like, just say it. it. It even sounds dirty, doesn't it? It sounds like something you do in the bedroom involving fecal matter. Like, it's scud! Like, if they're giving us the best four maps at the start, we are absolutely fucked. Three of the maps legit feel like Modern Warfare maps. Like, Infinity Ward creations. 
This one, I swear to you, I, I'm not even like making this up. This feels like an AI remake of Hacienda for Black Ops 4. Like I said, it, it, it feels odd. I, I don't know what to say about it other than, yeah, it's, it's kind of nice to look at. The visuals are nice. It's one of the better maps, yes. The pool's cool. I, I, I like the nice blue. The, the visuals in this game, I will give the visuals the credit they deserve. I, I like them. I like the way the game looks and whatnot. When I can see enemies, that is. But, uh, I mean, outside of that, dude, I, I really don't have a lot of positives to say about Black Ops 6 here. I mean, I, I'm not exaggerating, guys. This has to be the worst spawn system I have ever seen. You know, X Defiant just dropped the new Rockefeller map. If you haven't seen it or seen gameplay of it, it it's basically that game shipment, right? It's, it's pretty tiny. I've actually played two matches on it now and have not had one single bad spawn yet on SCUD or Derelict or Rewind. It's like I'm playing Modern Warfare 2019 shipment or something with how bad the spawns are. The, I swear to you, the only map I really haven't had a lot of spawn issues on is this one. And even then, it, it's just... I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. This map's smaller than Rewind and Scud and all that. So, I don't know, guys. I, I really am trying. Like, please don't think I'm just being a blind hater. It's just... Answer me this, okay? Answer me this in the comments section, please. Someone out there answer this. Outside of visuals. Outside of visuals? Like, graphic fidelity, I guess. What does this actually do better than, say, oh, I, I don't know, Black Ops 3 back in the day? If we're going to compare this to something with a lot of movement and whatnot, honest to God, what does this do better than Black Ops 3? If you're being honest with me, if you're being honest with me, you just said to yourself, not a goddamn fucking thing. Not a goddamn thing. It really does it. And I'm not trying to be an asshole. From the matchmaking, to the hit detection, to the packet burst, which thankfully I haven't really experienced that much. Other people have though. Other people are complaining out the ass about packet burst. I don't know what I did. I, maybe I, I pleased the Activision gods or whatever, but I haven't really had aim resist yet either, which is, is good. I Maybe switching to the Modern Warfare engine fixed that... 10 year decade long like Treyarch bug that would pop in and out because aim assist if you recall in Cold War was completely broken th th other than that though like I, I don't really have any positives I don't like the way this game moves I don't like how it feels I don't like how it plays I don't like the sounds it makes but the big thing and I, I really got to bring this up here because this is the important thing I'm only level 7 and I want to tell you guys why this game legit makes me motion sick this game makes me nauseous as fuck i i i play it for like three matches and i have to just get off i cannot do it anymore if you're watching this gameplay right here which you should be look at how much the gun bobs around look at how much like the gun bobs especially when you're not tax sprinting and you're just kind of sprinting side to side everything in this game is wobbly it feels like i'm on a boat the way my gum will sway back and forth like a fucking windshield wiper. And probably the worst offender of all, note the death cams. Anytime I die when I'm not the HVT, which I don't like this game mode either, by the way, but <laughs> I don't like anything, apparently. Um, when I die, like, the camera bobs. It kind of, like, follows me like a GoPro or something. It bobs around and makes me fucking sick. I had to actually Google this because I'm like, I don't have any other issues with any other game. Why does this game not only make me nauseous, but after I close it out, I swear to you, I'm kind of dizzy. And, and I, I had to Google it, and apparently it's all over Reddit. More people other than me are talking about how this game makes them nauseous. So, so let's actually pull this up so I can show you guys what I'm talking about here. So this is all from the Black Ops 6 subreddit here, and this is recent. Ideas on what to adjust to stop severe motion sickness. The beta is making me nauseous. Feeling slightly motion sick. Death camera is extremely nauseous. Is it just me, or does the movement camera make me feel, I'm going to assume, nauseous? And I opened one of the higher rated threads about this, and people are all in agreement in the comment section. Pretty much everyone's in agreement. Yes, the death kill cam is making me sick as well. I had to stop playing because of it. I do have to take breaks because of it, this person says. This, I had no problems with previous CODs, but the Blop 6 beta makes me motion sick, etc., etc. 
What's interesting about this year, guys, this year of Call of Duty is I've been negative about Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2019. Every single time I, I am negative about the game at the very start, people downvote me. People, people will thumbs down my content. Usually that's between, I'll, I'll get like a 60 to 75% like to dislike ratio on those videos, but in yesterday's video, or the other day's video, where I just say the beta is absolutely fucking terrible, I actually got more likes than dislikes than usual, which is odd. I don't know if people are just fucking sick of COD shit, finally. I don't know if people are just in agreement that this is not what we waited four years to get. I've seen a lot of people praising this, but I've seen a lot more, it seems like, just calling it for what it is. A four-year-long disappointment. I mean, the winner circle? Again, I, I want to just ask, how is this better than what we got nine years ago with Black Ops 3? Why are the animations so glitchy? And don't give me that it's just a beta shit. This is a motherfucking demo, okay? The game's done. They had four years to work on it. I'm out of time, though, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace out. Advice. Ah!